this video it's a very quick one and it came as a sort it came as a result of a request from one of you guys you wanted to know how i tie my bows the kind of bows that i use on my um cupcake box my name is Wemi, the face behind Tosh Creations, where I make beautiful and unique gifts and accessories for all your extra special family moments. So I make things like baby bouquets, sock cupcakes, as well as bridal bouquets, flower crowns, and I also teach women how to make the kind of crafts that I do. So now that we have that little bit of intro out of the way, this video is a very quick one and it came as a sort it came as a result of a request from one of you guys. You wanted to know how I tie my bows. The kind of bows that I use on my um, cupcake boxes. It might seem like a simple thing, but before I learned to turn a, to tie a bow as well, it was a little bit fiddly. But actually, it's not that bad. And a little caveat: the video that I'm going to show you, it's the sort of last few minutes of, of a much longer video that's available to those who buy my cupcake classes. But I've just cut a little bit of that longer video, longer tutorial, just to show you how you tie a bow on a box. It's pretty easy i hope it's useful for you please leave a comment if you enjoy it if it taught you anything or if you have a request for something else in particular i'm i'm happy to help if this video has been of use for you please thumb up thumbs up this video you know subscribe to my channel it would really help me out and um happy watching so now that we've decorated our cupcake box the last thing that's left to do is to gift wrap it you know tie it off with a ribbon and so I apologize some of this will go off camera just because the ribbon is really long you can see the length on the screen so what I do is I make you know I lay the ribbon end to end so that it's equal so it's folded over equally yeah and then holding it in the middle I put it across the box lengthways. It doesn't matter. It could you could start first with widthways. I just tend to go lengthways first. I place it on it and I turn it over because we're gonna tie it off at the back. Just once, just one tie. You see that? Just one tie. But I want to make sure that the two ends that are left. Are evenly matched that is the same length on both sides so I tie it once one tie once and I'm making sure that I've turned my ribbon facing the right way up you know because it will twist but I want the polka dot side to show I turn it once and then I take it across in the other direction you see it came this way I turn it the other direction I turn it with waist so we end up with like a cross and I turn the box over see all my cupcakes are still sitting nicely if this moves it's just a simple matter of pushing it to the middle okay and then the next thing and the last thing to do now is just to tie this as a bow to excuse me because the box is facing away from me my bow is going to be upside down so i'm going to turn the box towards me so that my bow is facing the right way i'm trying to make my movement slow so you can see how i do it so i fold over one edge one of the tails i fold it over take the other one I twist it so that it's face the right side is facing down. There's a reason for that. So it's facing upside down. And then I loop it. So this thumb pushes it through, loops it. And that was why I turned it the wrong way around before. Because when you loop it through, it turns itself back out. I don't know if that makes sense, but you see it's facing the right way. And because I, I like this this part of the ribbon to face the right way, I just turn it as well. I, and this bit, there's no signs to it, at least when I do it. I just fiddle with it until the sides are even and they look as nice as I want them to look. Let me see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let me move that around. 
so one side of the bow, one of the tails, is longer than the other, so I just train the longer one. I train at a slant so that it complements the other one, just so they're roughly the same length. A lot of this is not an exact science. There we go.